The sport of hockey is composed of many lines. Red lines, blue lines, the goal line. Likewise, it takes many lines on canvas to compose a painting. Edges, curves, a precise streak. Minnesota's own Terrence Fogarty has been combining both hockey and artwork for the last quarter of a century to create a line of best fit with his iconic sports imagery. Even in high school, I painted sports. I thought it made a good subject matter. My dad brought me to a lot of local sporting events, golfers, twins, and I was never an athlete, but I observed athletes and I took in all the events, the colors and the, the bands, the whole thing, and I thought that, that was just great. I think what you see and observe and what you put down for ideas is probably more important than the technical part of it. I think what resonates with people is what I'm painting, not how I paint it. When you see a painting of mine in person, you see paint. There is some painterly quality to it. You can see brush strokes and some brush hair is still left on the canvas. Initially, I probably didn't do hockey any more than I did baseball or football, but a lot of it is just what I grew up seeing, just to capture the uniqueness of an outdoor game in Minnesota on a frozen lake or pond is the part that jumps out at me. Terrence has a long-standing relationship with Minnesota hockey, with past work such as Mork's Pond having captured the vitality of what it means to play outdoors. Mork's Pond was a rink that's only about a mile from here as the crow flies. A gentleman maintains this pond in his backyard and his kids play hockey and I think it's probably one of the greatest pond hockey rinks that I've seen and that was sort of made to order for one of my paintings. Each year on Hockey Day Minnesota, he rolls out a new piece for adoring fans who eagerly await the prints. This year is no exception. Homefront, this painting in particular is very emotional. That paid a tribute to military families whose kids are in hockey. It's about any kid whose parent is going to be gone for an extended period, just to have that emotion of when he returns home. And uh, it's, uh, you know, I think that the painting probably describes things more, better than I could. Terrence's artwork is revered by hockey fans both young and young at heart. The realism created often brings us back to our own faded memories of enjoying and learning this celebrated game here in the state of hockey. When I first started doing this, I didn't think much about what other people were going to think about it. But over the years, people have told me that that's exactly what they remember as a kid, and that's why they like the work. These portraits are frozen moments that help us reimagine the days gone by. The tradition is here. If I can put that on canvas for people to hang on their wall, that's pretty special. It doesn't happen uh, with a lot of other things in, in a person's life. <laughs> 